There's the fastest person in the world. 9.58, the world record's gone. There's the richest person in the world. He is now the richest person in the world. We've never had a ranking of who is the healthiest person in the world. Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson wants to reverse the aging process. For the past few years, I've been working towards that objective. And after measuring my body with thousands of data points, I may have achieved that title. Why am I doing this? I believe we are entering into a new era of existence, one that will be focused on age escape velocity. What does age escape velocity mean? This means you're slowing down the rate of your biological aging. So if one year of time passes, you age for less than one year. Now we are not going to achieve age escape velocity by eating well and exercising. We need more advanced therapies, things that turn back the clock. There are so many promising technologies emerging. For example, the ability to edit our own genome, which is already here. As the technologies advance, like all things, it will become more accessible to more people. And those technologies are just around the corner. What I'm talking about is not magic immortality. It's about the systems we built in a methodical fashion to change the trajectory of your body's aging processes. It's an engineering race between the damage your body sustains and our ability to repair and prevent that. The moment that our ability to repair outpaces the damage your body causes will be a new era of living. This is the point where the calendar ends dictating your biological fate. How do you define healthy? Let's start simple. Let's say, for example, you have a 90-year-old next to a two-year-old. Nobody's going to confuse who's 90 and who's two. They're clearly different ages. Now, as you narrow that range to a 35 and 36-year-old, it's not quite clear who's 35 and 36. That same principle applies to the entire body. You can, in fact, measure biological age. Now, starting from that simple example, we can say other things that are also true. Being morbidly obese is not a good situation. Having diabetes is clearly not a health protocol. Being sedentary is not a winning strategy for a long life. These are basic things we all know. How do we measure healthy? Well, there's basic things we're aware of. For example, you can say, how good is your body at fighting infection? What is your reaction speed? How strong are you? What is your flexibility? These are basic measurements we all understand as a general indicator of health. So can you actually do anything to change your course of aging? I know from years of experimentation that I can do things that reverse my body's biological age. For example, my skin health, or how my heart functions, or how my liver functions. That when you measure these organs, according to functional categories and also anatomical, you can in fact get organs to represent a younger age. What do I personally track? My entire longevity protocol is based upon a gold standard set of biological age measurements. These are benchmarked against population level studies to know where I'm at as a percentile. I'm 47 years old, but that's not true for my entire body. For example, my left ear is 64. My heart currently functions like a 37 year old. We wondered if we could ask that question for every organ in my entire body and get a baseline, how old is Brian Johnson right now? I recently shared over 60 biomarkers that are highly predictive of all-cause mortality. Now, what is all-cause mortality? It's the likelihood you're going to die from anything. Now, these biomarkers give you insight into your risk of all-cause mortality. Of these 60, I'm going to share with you a few examples. Now, of course, a caveat is you can have great markers and then also be surprised by some unexpected event. One of the biomarkers my team and I value the most is my speed of aging. This is based upon a new technology called epigenetics. Now, if you measure one, you're aging at a normal speed, less than one, slower than normal, and more than one, faster than normal. My recent speed of age measurement was 0.48. That was my best. My best three test average is 0.054. That roughly means I celebrate my birthday every two years. So you can in fact dramatically slow down your speed of aging. And this is a marker for whole body wellness. If I'm sick in some part of my body, it's going to have an effect on how fast or slow I'm aging. Next is inflammation. Now this is the killer everybody should be aware of. 
we measured something called high sensitivity CRP, and it came back as non-detect. In my body, I have no systemic inflammation. That's a remarkable accomplishment. We were pretty happy about that one. Next is sperm health. Now this is important because over the past 50 years, sperm health in the world has dramatically declined over 50%. My sperm health is better than the average levels of 1970 and substantially so. In fact, my sperm health is on par with someone in their early 20s. It's an example that you can in fact live in the modern world and have superior sperm health. One of the best predictors for longevity is your cardio respiratory fitness. This is sometimes known as your VO2 max. It's how well your body utilizes oxygen during exercise. My levels are at the 85th percentile for 18 year olds. Next up are telomeres. These are the end caps of your chromosomes. You can think of these like shoelaces where they have the hard material at the very end. As you age, they fray and they break. You want these to be strong. I had mine measured and they are the biological age of a 10 year old. Am I becoming a baby? And finally, bone health. I had a DEXA scan recently and it came back in the 99.8 percentile of all people. So my bones are really strong. When you assemble all these markers together, my speed of aging, sperm, cardiovascular fitness, my telomeres, my body is functioning at an elite level across all of its systems. So where did I start and how much have I improved? When I started, I was 40 pounds overweight. I had systemic inflammation. I didn't sleep very well. I was chronically depressed. My markers were all terrible. I felt like I was physically and mentally falling apart. Now, five years later, I have arguably the best comprehensive biomarkers of anybody in the entire world. What am I doing every day to achieve this? My days are meticulously structured. We have a precise routine for my bedtime, what I eat, exercise, supplements I take, it's based upon extensive review of the scientific evidence and measurements of my body. Now, one mistake people make is they oftentimes say, well, but Brian, this protocol is specific to you. Actually, we base the scientific protocol on population level studies. We learned what worked for a large number of humans, not just me. Now, of course, I make small modifications here and there for myself, but generally speaking, these things are based upon population level evidence. This has led me down the path of making some very specific decisions. For example, my diet every day is 2,250 calories. And the philosophy is every calorie must fight for its life. And doing that, we evaluated all the foods that could potentially be consumed every day and which ones had the highest potential for longevity. We did the same with therapies. So I've done recent therapies like hyperbaric oxygen therapy. I'm now doing sauna. I've done things such as mesenchymal stem cells in my joints and a host of other therapies, all based upon scientific evidence. Now, if a therapy doesn't deliver results, we cut it. This is not about theater, it's about results. Now, in hearing this, you may think this is outlandish. There's two things for you. One, this is based upon the scientific evidence. Also, Brian Johnson of 2025 is a normal dude in 2030. What is the most surprising thing I have learned about my body? Unquestionably, the most important thing I have learned about my body is the body is resilient. Remember, I was 43 years old when I started. I had led a life like poor health habits as a kid, uh, 20 years of running myself into the ground as an entrepreneur, 10 years of chronic depression. I was in a really bad state of health. And five years later, vie for the best biomarkers in the entire world. This should give everybody hope. Now, have things ever gone wrong? I can't think of anything. Yeah. Of course they have, things always go wrong. I'll give you two examples. One is I took one of the more promising drugs in the anti-aging world called rapamycin. I did it for several years, meticulously measuring my levels. It turns out that drug accelerates speed of aging. Great irony, really fun. Now this is not conclusive on that drug. It may be the case that in me it had that effect. There may be other things we weren't measuring, but still in that one narrow marker, it was accelerating how fast I was aging. Number two is my face blew up when I was doing fat injections. In the early days of my endeavor, I went on caloric restriction. I got very skinny and that has the effect of wiping out all the fat in your face. Turns out that makes you look really old. I was trying to make my face look youthful with more fat, injecting the fat, and I had a severe allergic reaction and it blew up, I guess a bit more than I bargained for. This is the protocol we've built measure, do a therapy, evaluate the data, and repeat that cycle again and again, no loyalties except for to science and data. 
Can you do any of this yourself? The answer is yes. I encourage you, don't be intimidated by this conversation. You actually can do simple, basic things and get the majority of the health benefits. I'll tell you, the single thing I would focus on if I were you is to lower your resting heart rate before bed. That means when you do that, you eat earlier and lighter. You avoid alcohol. You avoid late night snacks. You avoid high stress just before bed. That which lowers your heart rate before bed, improves your sleep, and when your sleep is improved, you're going to exercise and eat well. If you can simplify this entire complex world of health, lower your heart rate before bed, get excellent sleep, exercise every day, and begin eating a bit better, that cycle will compound upon itself. You'll find it easier and easier to make good decisions. Friends, I'm telling you, a new era of being human is here. If you can't see it, I'm telling you, it's here. The old ways of debauchery and being martyrs for our given professional ambitions, it's over. We are in the era of don't die. Make health your number one priority. Invite your friends to make their health the number one priority. Call your parents. Check in, how are they doing? Lower their resting heart rate. Help your children. This is a new time to be a new human. It begins with how we take care of ourselves.